Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of dot plots. Specifically, we will be looking at how we can solve 1 and 2 step problems using a dot plot and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So you see on the screen, we have an example of a dot plot. There were 20 students in the class and they each answered this question, how many cousins do you have? And we have some students with zero cousins all the way up to one student with nine cousins. Let's look at our first problem. Our first problem is a good way to make sure that we understand how to properly read a dot plot. When it asks how many students have three or less cousins, we're going to be looking at the dot plot. Starting with our three, we see that each dot represents one student's response. So I've got one, two, three students that have three cousins. And then if we're looking at three or less, there's no students with two. There are two students with one cousin and two students with zero cousins. So there are a total of seven students with three cousins or less. Our next problem looks similar, but is actually different in two big ways. First, it includes the word fraction. So our answer is going to be not necessarily a whole number, but a fraction. And in this case, we're looking at the fraction of students that have three or more cousins, not three or less. So with our fraction, we need to make sure we know the total number of students that responded. That's going to be our denominator. So that is 20. And then we need to count how many have three or more. So we've got three, that's seven, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16. So 16 out of the 20 students have three or more cousins. But since this can be reduced or simplified, let's go and divide our numerator and our denominator by 4 over 4. And that is going to get us 3 fourths as our answer. Finally, we have a two-step problem here. How many more students have an odd number of cousins than an even number of cousins? So we need to total up the students that said they had an odd number of cousins. So I've got two students that said they had one cousin, three students that said three, three students that said five, two students that said seven, and one student that said nine. So if you add all that up, you're going to get 11 cousins. I'm going to put an 11 right there for odd. And then let's go ahead and total up the number of students that they said they had an even number of cousins. So I had 2 for 0, 4 for 4, 2 for 6, and 1 for 8. So that is going to give us 9 students that have an even number of cousins. How many more means that we are going to find the difference or subtract. And so 11 minus 9 is going to make 2. Now it's time for you to try. We now have a new dot plot for you. It shows the number of library books that students have checked out. Go ahead and take a moment, solve these three problems. When you have your answers, unpause the video and check your work. Our first question asks how many students have less than six books? So our key here is less than, and we're looking at six books. So counting them, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 students that have less than 6 books. Next, what fraction of students have less than 3 books? Well, our fraction, we have a total of 15 students. And less than 3 is going to be looking at this group right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 fifteenths. But that can be reduced to one third. Finally, how many more? So we have another subtraction problem. Students have two or three books, one, two, three, four, five, and seven or more books, one, two. So we have five minus two, and that is going to get us a total of three. So that is how you can use a dot plot to answer questions.